Hey everyone, Dominic Lehnert here. And in this video, I will share with you how you can set up your Integromat with Stripe together. So in this video, we are going to look at how can you set up a test uh, test setup basically for your Stripe account and your Integromat. So if you're developing an Integromat automation scenario and you want to integrate it with Stripe, you want to be sure that in the beginning, at least while you're developing it, you have a test account set up. So you don't actually make real payments, but you will have to have a way to kind of figure out all the kinks of the your Integromat integration without having to do real payments so you can get events in. So that what we're going to look at in this video is how do you set up a connection to your Stripe account? Let's say you want to get events whenever I whenever a Stripe payment is run and then you want to do something with that in Integromat. Let's say you want to write the information from the event into a Google Sheet um, to track those events, something like that. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we want to do, let me just um, show my screen here. So the first thing we will want to do is in, we go into Integromat. So here in Integromat, we can see that, now we can see that um, here in Integromat, I just clicked create a new scenario. And there's two things we want to do in this case. Let's say we want Stripe. So Stripe, we want to run the payments or we want to fetch the, the payment information. And then we want Google Sheets so we can put the information somewhere. Let's say we want to track it in Google Sheets. Okay, create new scenario. So first thing we want to have is we want to watch events from Stripe. So what Stripe offers, Stripe offers an API. So we can basically hook in and then we, we can specify which events we want. Because Stripe has a number of events. So just as an example, so now I'm, I'm going into Stripe just as an example to understand the events uh, a bit. Um, this is an example payment I created earlier. And just running one payment in this case creates four different e events. So we have one event which says blah, blah, blah is chargeable. Then we have one event where it says this charge has been created. Then we have one event where it says um, this charge has been charged. So this is the number two here. And then we actually have uh, one event where it says the, the um, payment has succeeded. So we have gotten the charge. Mm -hmm. So if we want to create, if we want to hook into Stripe and we want to get information from uh, Stripe, we select watch events, and then it's gonna ask us to set up the webhook. So for this, um, either you already have a Stripe account or you will have to create a new Stripe account. Um, if you have to create a new Stripe account, just go to stripe.com and then you can start now. And then you just register, create your account. You don't need any credit card information, PayPal, whatever. Um, you can create an account and you can work with an account without entering any of that. So you just put in your email here, you put in your full name and put in your password and then you can create the account and then it will redirect you directly into your account. So this is what I did here. Um, this is an, a cre um, an account I just created a bit earlier. And the interesting thing for us is, so first of all, you will want to um, confirm your email address. If you don't confirm your email, email address, you can't get events from Stripe. So make sure you click uh, the confirm button in the confirmation email address you get and email you get. And then when you click that in the confirmation email, you can go back in here and then you can actually set up all the stuff you need. So what we want is we have our Stripe um, hook basically or event watcher here. And what we need is we need the API. So if we create a new connection, so um, we want to create a new web hook and then we need to create a new connection. So we click add here on the connection where you can name the connection, whatever you want. And it asks you for the API key. So you go over to Stripe then here on the left, you click um, developers API keys. Um, one quick information, if you have a quote unquote real or live uh, Stripe account, so you're already running payments with it. If you wanna set it up for testing, make sure you uh, click viewing test data over here. So in my case, and this is where you first have to activate your, your account, but in my case, I'm not running real payments through this account, so it is, in the test data mode by default, just make sure you have this orange thing up here showing you test data. If it if it is in the real mode right now, just click the toggle here and then you get into the test mode 
and then you will see your API keys here. So in this case, what you will need is you will need a you will need the secret key. So you just click reveal <laughs> reveal secret key, which I'm not. Um, so this is just a test account, so I can do this with you. I click, you click on the secret key and then it copies it. And then you go over to Integromat and then you paste the API key here. It's important you use the secret API key. If you use the publishable API key, it's gonna tell you that um, you will have to use the secret one. Put in the secret API key, boom, it tests the connection. So Integromat automatically is gonna test the connection to Stripe. If it's successful, this is what you see. And then you can actually select what type of event do you want to get. So as I said earlier, um, there's a whole load of different events that you can get. For example, um, what in this case, let's say whenever a charge is refunded or whenever a charge is made, we want to get um, the event in here or we want to get it as a trigger. So we say the group is charged. And then, as I said, even just a single charge, so a single payment you basically run and creates a whole lot of different events. Let's say in this case, we only want to see succeeded charges. So we only want to get the information or we only want to trigger the scenario um, for a charge that was successful. So we could se select that, save it. It's going to verify and boom, we are set and then Let's, so that is basically how you set up the Stripe test account. You just go into Stripe, create your account or go into your existing account, go under developers, API keys, go into the test data mode and then you just into, uh, put in the secret API key in here. And then let's say if you wanna add a row for every one of these, um, every one of these events, you can just then select a Google Sheets um, select the Google sheet you want and put in all the, um, basically the, the automatic mapping for where you want to create, um, save what information from the event that you um, got out of the Stripe account. Yeah, but that is basically how you set up a test in uh, basically a test setup into Stripe. Um, if you wanna go into how do you update a Google sheet, how do you do your, all these, Basically, the next steps, I have some videos on that as well. Go check that out. Um, I hope this is helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions, any videos you want to see. And until then, my name is Dominic Lehnert. Take care and goodbye.